Hi everybody, this is Rexus, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon World. On this episode, we're going to continue exploring the whole of File Island, and try and get some more Digimon to come back to this city so we can see it grow even further. And in the last episode, we discovered that there was um, some sort of a hidden plant, secret plant in the tropical jungle. And there's also, apparently, some invisible bridge on a great canyon. So I think we should go and explore them right now. And I'll just fast forward past this stupid walking bitch, because this guy walks... Oh my gosh! Look what I got, guys! Orange banana! This is actually one of those rare item drops, so that's kind of nice. Fully recovers HP and MP. So I'm going to want to hang on to that one. So, um, let's continue on. Well, I wasn't actually expecting that to be there. That's pretty nice. Pretty cool, actually. Yay! So let's go over this way. I hate the way the music acts. Music in this game is good, but they should keep it continuous in the area instead of just looping off and restarting after every screen. That's kind of annoying. But here's the um, strange plant that things were talking about. Wow, interesting sprouting. Moved around a little bit. Is this a mysterious plant everyone was talking about? It's wilty. If I know anything, it's, oh, it's gonna die. It's gonna use any items? No. We don't actually have anything in our inventory that can actually help it at the moment. But um, if you look at the day, there is day 9. If you wait until day 15, we can collect um, a plant that will um, basically allow us to. Um, that basically lets us get that plant to life. So we have to wait till the 15 for that to happen. But oh god, is the reward worth it? No, we don't want to fight you. So let's just go up here. We were here last episode. Oh, there's a Digimon up there. Is there really an invisible bridge here? <gasps> there is! Yay! Sorry if I skipped that text there a bit fast, but she doesn't really say much. There we go, Digi Mushroom. So let's go up here and enter our next area the Great Canyon. What? No way! <laughs> Another rare job the Prickly Pear! <laughs> Excellent! Um, what that one does is um, it basically lowers your weight. Which I never say, why the hell would you want to lower your weight? But um, for some digivolutions, you actually need to lower your weight, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. That might be useful later on. But um, there's nothing in there. And in here we have a part in the game I actually really enjoy. So, let's go in here into the monochrome shop. So, let's talk with monochrome on. Blah blah blah. I'm from the city. I'm yeah. no, actually from another world. Yay! No, we don't actually understand your language. We're just um, communicating bit by bit. We have a few pre learned sentences, and that's it. Many shoppers stop coming. You must see the trouble on the island. Do you know what? Everything is caused by this stupid trouble on the island that's actually unnamed. It's like if it's causing so much trouble, you think everyone would know what it was. Half a day. So you basically have to work eight hours your Digimon's lifespan to um, start this mini game. So all we're gonna do is just basically um, have a go at it. And of course, just because I'm a big meanie, I'm gonna save state abuse for this. It's probably the easy way to do it instead of taking them um, effort for it. Like I'm gonna just save this now. So he needs some medicine. So what you basically the way this works is, um, well, let's say, say it again, um, you can keep the price of 1,000 bits or try and raise the price to make some profit on it, and uh, basically the more you raise the more you make, so do, let's try 1,400 bits, that's how you robbery. 1,300 bits, I'm wasting my time with you. So the customers aren't happy about paying high prices, especially this guy, so all I want to do is keep the price at 1,000 bits, then he's happy, so we get a sale, and we make a 300 profit. So um, we're just going to do this to every customer, just try and get everyone happy, because if you want this guy to come to the city, what we have to do is we have to get, um, what do you call it, 450 bits? Yeah, let's go for it. Nah, too much. 420. Stop charging so much. And um, basically you need to make a profit of, um, oh, okay, we'll give the price 300 bits. But basically we need to make a profit of um, 3100, I think, to get Monochroma to come to the city. So that's what we're gonna try and do, cause you get some good benefits for him joining, so. Hey, give me a portable potty. These guys actually are willing to pay, um, really high prices, so, yeah. Woohoo! Bit of profit for us. Oh, Vegemons are really annoying, I don't like Vegemons at all. 
They're always just so mean. They never really accept any price increases. Yay! 15 profit. So blah 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 blah. You want a portable potty? 390 bits? Yeah, you're right. 450 bits? I'm only joking. So, um, let's just keep the price 300 bits. See, it's so annoying, because this game is so, just so weird, because sometimes it'll be really happy and pay high prices, and sometimes it just won't bother, so. Um, 450 bits. Why well, you have to go straight for that price? Like, what? Yeah, I know I charge way too much. Like, I wish you could just choose the price, you know? It'd be so much easier. 330 bits, that's more reasonable. And we get a bit more profit. Oh, go away, Vegemon. I think says I'll give anything, so let's try 390. No, he's not happy, so you have to keep the price as it is for these guys. Bye, Vegemon. Oh, meat is just giving the meat. Meat is just worthless. It's so hard to make good profit on meat anyway. And stop asking for meat. Meat is pathetic. Yes, we got medicine. So I need a couple of these, so I'm gonna um, just basically... 1400 bits, buy it. Damn. 1200 bits. Wrap it up for me. Oh yeah, we got the medicine sale. Well, it's halfway done. So we're making good money. So, um, 360 bits. Like, what the hell? Like, that's a reasonable price. I'll just give it to him a cost price. Like, see, he just stormed off. I offered it to him. Oh, these guys, I hate these, I hate these guys. Stop giving me weed, mons. Let's see, 390. So we have to, ugh, I hate these guys. Oh, the game is just ripping the piss now. Oh. What the hell was with these guys asking for meat so much? Surely he must be out of stock. Like, come on, give me the guys I like that buy medicine. Oh, these guys are actually different. They're weird, like, he wants medicine, but watch this. Sometimes they'll pay high prices, and the other times they'll just freak out over it. Yeah, so you bought it there, no problem, but sometimes you just don't. So, um. Yeah, I know I do. Uh oh. So, let's just keep price 300 for it now. See? What the hell? So far, everyone's been happy anyway. That's something. Stop asking for meat. Like, you just can't. Me just is more of my time. Stop asking for me! No! Are we done? I think it's time. Thank you for your work. I know I could do better. If people stop asking for me, I could do much better. So that's basically the way this mini game works, but um, I want to try that again. So um, I'll end this episode here and I'll just basically restart it when. Um, when, um, what am I trying to say? I'll, I'll, I'll basically meet you guys back here after I successfully complete the minigame and obtain 3,100 uh, digi dollars profit. So, um, I think that's probably the best way to go about it. So, I'll meet you guys back at that shop after completion of the minigame next time on Let's Play Digimon World. This is Rexus, signing out. Thanks for watching.